The Summer Olympics on today's CMJ4 start tomorrow, and tonight we're talking to a local man who actually gets paid to go to the games. Yeah, Lee <laughs> Fanner still works for NBC behind the scenes, and if he's doing his job right, it'll all sound great. <laughs> Shannon Sims reports. Lee Fanner still is in charge of audio. His work maintains the beauty of sound attached to sporting events, including the Women's Gymnastic Olympic Trials. There were over 85 microphones um, placed around the different apparatus. Without that, as a viewer, you would notice it. It's like the, when the ball goes through the hoop during basketball, you hear it. Well, that's because there's a microphone right by the hoop for uh, for games. When Lee isn't in remote corners of the globe working sporting events, he's the director of video services for the BMO Harris Bradley Center. He started there two weeks after the arena opened and from there launched himself into providing audio at major sporting events. So here's a sampling of everywhere I've been. I've done eight Super Bowls. I've done five Stanley Cup finals. I've been nominated for six Emmys and one two. Um, and this will be my fourth Olympics. His favorite Olympic experience, the London Games in 2012. Our hotel was a 10 minute walk away through the Queen's Gardens. So it was just a, a beautiful experience. In Sochi, Russia, he ran into a language barrier with a coffee maker. It was all in Russian, so nobody had a clue. So we'd kind of huddle around and watch, you know, you push this button and see, see what comes out. In Rio, Lee and his hand-picked crew will be working in the gymnastics venue. They have used the last week and a half to set up and rehearse. It's the only day where we kind of get a break is opening ceremonies because that's the only thing going on at least at night. They put in 12 hour days for 16 days straight. Things get really exciting when the medal round begins. There's one girl, I think she just turned 17, and you think about what they're going through and uh, just winning that medal has got to be just, just awesome. He admits the month away from his family is always hard, but maintains it's worth it. To be a part of something like that, that's, uh, it's an incredible thing to be part of. Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4.